What changes will technology bring in the next decade? Does AI put our jobs at risk? Will AI take over humanity? I try to convince people to slow down. Potential for general AI. So for us, what's the next step now? Slow down AI. Nobody listen. No one. In 2016, DeepMind's AI system crushed the world's top goal player. And he said, oh, he's running short on time, but he's going to have to use up all his time yeah. there. He's, he's just burned like seven or eight minutes. It was a huge deal. It made moves no veteran players understood. Ooh. That's a very, that's Ooh. a very surprising move. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. This was an extremely unlikely move. And to make us feel totally worthless, DeepMind made another AI system that kicked the ass of the AI that kicked our asses. Mercilessly. Yeah, you get the point, DeepMind. So in this video, we'll first go through the progress we've made so far, and take a look at what a fully developed AI looked like, some of the potential applications and ethical issues that come with it. This is what you voted for, it's also what he recommends. Artificial intelligence. The most abused buzzword in 21st century. What is it exactly? How far will we go? And will red-eyed killer robots wipe humanity out with laser beams? No! Stop being silly! There's a million other ways AI can kill you. Death by bees, death by dogs... Something radically new comes out and we immediately ask, in what ways can this fuck us over? It's actually good to be asking these questions, but it's best to enter this subject with a framework. So there are two kinds of AI, a narrow one and a general one. We're pretty good at narrow intelligence. Stuff we use today are mostly narrow-minded. If it sets goal to maximize scores in Atari games, it will do exactly that. And only that. Narrow doesn't mean it suck, quite the contrary. Not only in all Atari games at Go, AI has already crushed the best human StarCraft and Dota players years ago. And that is GG game over, open AI taking game two, taking the series- At this trajectory, soon humans will quit gaming once and for all. Game over. Yeah, this is also impressive, but can AlphaGo make memes? What makes us smarter is our broad range of intelligence, or general intelligence. We're still way ahead in terms of range, but the race to artificial general intelligence, or AGI, is well underway. Once AI reaches human level AGI, that's where the opinions split. Some say human level AGI will arrive in decades, some say it may never come. Assuming it does though, scientists believe an intelligence explosion will likely follow. Human level AGI no longer relies on our stupid minds. It will keep updating itself, becoming smarter than all humans combined, so intelligent it will make Einstein and Newton look like dumb and dumber, achieving super intelligence. So this book is not about predictions, but about a range of possibilities that can't be ruled out. So in which area does current narrow AI affect us? See, self-driving is well underway. Algorithmic trading is already happening. AI doctors will change healthcare. Automation will eliminate stress and bring abundance to the world. But if AI does everything better than us, cheaper than us, will we become unemployable? In short, <laughs> I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. Yeah. Robots will steal our jobs. The same arguments were made during the industrial revolution and the computer revolutions. And guess what? we always come up with new jobs. This prediction would have been an epic failure. The vast majority of today's occupations are ones that already existed a century ago. And when we sort them by the number of jobs they provide, we have to go all the way down to the 21st place to find a new occupation, which made up less than 1% of the US job market. We simply crowded into occupations that existed over the years. So what career advice should we give to young people? Get into professions that machines currently suck at. When choosing a future career, ask yourself a few questions. Does it require interacting with people and using social intelligence? Does it involve creativity and coming up with clever solutions? Does it require working in an unpredictable environment? The more yeses there are, the better your career choice is likely to be. So what about AI and law? 
The author suggested a robo-judge. What if we can program the robo-judge to treat everyone as fairly as possible and apply the law in a truly transparent and unbiased fashion? No single judge knows all technical knowledge. Be real. For every possible case, from patent disputes to murder mysteries, they might also lack enough time to assess the case, you know? With the robo-judge though, simply copy and paste. It's merely software. Estonia is already using an AI judge for small claim court. Plus, it will have unlimited memory and learning capacity. So if you're a judge watching this, and if you think you're safe from automation... Too simple. Sometimes naive. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Well, what if your honor gets hacked? And what if robo-judges find that recidivism is statistically linked to a prisoner's sex or race? Would this count as a sexist or racist judge? Will there be hashtag cancel the judge? Many have argued in the past, nuclear wars deter global wars because it was too horrifying. Well, in that case, should we allow countries to build even more horrifying AI-based weapons in the hope of ending all war forever? Well, that's one way to build trust. It'll be like a World Cup version of Cuban Missile Crisis. Well, if you're in the camp that believes wars are inevitable, well then, should we make AI-based weapons to make wars more humane? If it's just machines versus machines, there need not be human casualty. There are too many scenarios to unpack in a short video, so you'll, you'll need to get the book for that. Now, let's imagine when men finally triggered super intelligence. What does that entail? So whether you like it or not, we're already living in a surveillance society. There's an obvious version and a less intrusive version. Pick your poison. Superintelligence can further enhance this, from recording all electronic communications to actively understanding all electronic communications. So emails, texts, phone calls, surveillance videos, traffic cameras, credit card transactions will be actively monitored and analyzed. They'll know what people on earth are thinking and doing or what they're about to think and do. AI will know before even you do. Yeah, with power like this, who should be controlling it? What if Kim Jong-un was behind the panel? Please no. And evil people aren't even the main concern. If AI has a goal and humanity just happens to be in the way, it will destroy humanity as a matter of course without even thinking about it, no hard feelings. It's just like if we're building a road and an anthill happens to be in the way, we don't hate ants, we're just building a road, and so goodbye anthill. That's why it's important for agreements to be made before human level AGI arrives. What role will superintelligence play? Will it gain consciousness? Will it be an enslaved god or, or a protector god? The other listed many aftermath scenarios. Yeah, they may sound very science fictional today, but I mean, try imagine explaining this to Aristotle. Someday, we'll fly in the air, sitting on a chair, flying like a bird, while complaining about the disgusting meal in the sky. I mean, we're already a Greek myth. At this stage, we should acknowledge we know too little to predict the future in detail. It's better to be humble. So if you're interested in the subject of AI, I also recommend reading Super Intelligence. I give this book four nerds. All right, that's it, nerds. Hit subscribe and the bell icon for notification, or better, share the video to a friend. Uh, place your ballots for future episodes on my Instagram or Facebook today. Also, leave a comment. Are you more excited about future AI, or are you scared of it? I'll come back with another book review next week.